In this video we want to introduce the concept of the del operator and the gradient. Um, let's suppose that at the origin of these axes we're at a point on the Earth's surface where here there's a forest fire and we're going out at different distances from the forest fire in X, Y, and at different heights above it and we're measuring the temperature. So the way that this is set up we have a space curve where along the space curve we determined the temperature and from the origin going out to the space curve these are position vectors so here's position vector R1 and let's say that at a differential line segment like this then here we have the position vector R2 so that between R1 and R2 there's this dr. So vector R1 plus dr would equal position vector R2. And at position vector R1 we have a temperature of T. Then at position vector R2 the temperature would be T plus dt and dt being the differential temperature, of course, over this distance here, dr. Now, for the position vector, its expression is, as we explained in our earlier videos, this is the expression for the position vector. So, for the differential position vector, dr, would have this expression. Now, the temperature, of course, is just a scalar. It has a magnitude, but it doesn't have any direction associated with it. And let's say that we derived an empirical equation for the temperature along the space curve. Say it comes out to equal, say T equals, say, 2.17. And it's raised to the power whatever the magnitude of the position vector is at that space curve times minus 5 halves. Now the differential change in temperature dt over this differential position vector, a general expression for that would be dt equals the partial of the temperature with respect to x times dx plus the partial of the temperature with respect to y times dy and so forth. And this, even a superficial uh, setting, should make sense. The change in temperature is differential that will equal how much the temperature changes with respect to x multiplied by that change in x plus how much the temperature changes with respect to y times that change in y. Here we have how much the temperature changes with respect to z multiplied by that change in z. So add all these changes up and you get the total change or the total derivative of the temperature. Now R, that certainly depends upon x, y, and z. In fact, the, um, the magnitude of the position vector, that is x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the one-half power. So if we want for r, we can substitute this. We'll have x squared plus y squared plus z squared to the minus 5 fourths power. So we can write it like this if we want to. So certainly, we can take these partial derivatives. Now, the differential for the position vector 
that is dx i plus dyj plus dz k. So this is the differential temperature, the equation for that. Here's the equation for the differential position vector. Now, is there some ve other vector that we could take the dot product of with this and get this expression? Because here you see we have a dx and a dx, a dy and a dy, and a term with a dz and a dz. So if we had another vector that we were taking the dot product of this with, its first term, of course, would have to have an i. So you take i dot i, you have 1. And then this has dx, so this term here would have to be the partial of t with respect to x. And of course, we have other components too. But when we take the dot product, of course, that will be 0 that will be 0, i dot i is 1, and we'll have the partial of t with respect to x times dx, which is this part of the temperature differential. So obviously the other components of this vector that we're trying to create would have to be the partial of t with respect to y times the unit vector j plus the partial of t with respect to z times the unit vector k. Take the dot product of this vector with the differential position vector, and that will give us the differential temperature, dt. And this leads us into the del operator. The del operator is designated like this. You're taking the partial derivative of some scalar. In our particular problem, our scalar was the temperature, which had this function. But some scalar, you're taking its partial derivative with respect to x, and then multiply that partial derivative by the unit vector i. Then take another partial derivative of your scalar, with respect to y, and multiply that partial derivative by the unit vector j. And then take a partial derivative of that scalar with respect to z, and multiply that by the unit vector k. That's the del operator. So this operates on scalars. For a particular problem, the scalar was the temperature. So the expression that we end up with is that the differential change in temperature, dt, equals del t dot dr. Now, this vector that's created by taking these partial derivatives and multiplying by unit vectors, this is called the gradient. So we can say that the differential change in temperature equals its gradient, taking the dot product of that with the differential position vector. Or, of course, a general expression would be we have a scalar, and the value of that scalar depends upon x, y, and z, then d phi equals its gradient, take the dot product that with the differential position vector. Now let's look at this expression more closely. This is equal to the magnitude of the gradient times the magnitude of this, which is just dr times the cosine of theta. So when will d phi, that change 
in our scalar, whether it's just a scalar in general, whether it's the change in temperature, when will it have its largest change? Of course, when this equals 1, that's the largest value it can have, and that will be when theta equals 0. So when the position vector at any point on the space curve is pointing in the same direction as the gradient vector, then the scalar will have its greatest change. So the gradient, that is a vector, its magnitude and its direction then are those of the maximum space rate of change for that particular scalar. And we'll try to have some uh, more specific examples demonstrating this in future videos. Um, in this video, we just wanted to give the basic definition of the del operator and what a gradient is and in general why hopefully now this equation makes at least intuitive sense. Okay, and that's all then for this video. Um, the playlist for all the videos is at the website digital university.org. As we're making this video, the front page is under construction, but the playlist for all the videos, it's right there at digital-university.